Now, he's had a couple of rough starts in a row, but I will say this. The two teams he's faced in his last two starts have been really good offensive teams, right? He faced the Astros two starts ago, and the Dodgers are going to be the two best offenses in all of baseball. So I look for him to have a lot more success tonight. On a 1-2, oh. there's a curveball. So a couple of fastballs followed by a couple of curveballs, and there is that beautiful sequence from Povich. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. That's what Alex was talking about right there. A couple of elevated fastballs, and then right behind that, a really good breaking ball. It almost starts in the exact same spot as those elevated fastballs, but instead he bends it down and in and underneath the bat of Corey Jolk. So a good start for Kay Povich. Curveball out of the zone. I, I, mean, I love his arsenal, but I want to see him in two strikes, get those pitches a little bit further out of the zone to try and get that chase. Well, Ooh. how about get it further out of the zone and get a strikeout? That'll help. Yeah, the zone went from pretty small, I felt like, in the first inning. And that ball, what is it, about four inches above the top zone? Adley wants on the outside part of the plate. It's out there, but it's elevated above the top. Gavin Sheets doesn't like the call. Like, uh, is it an imaginary target I'm throwing to? Like, I want to know where you want the ball. We got it. Povich, he picked off Lee at first. Kate Povich erases the air and nabs Corey Lee, who was leaning a little too far. Yeah, Corey Lee, five stolen bases on the year. And I don't know that he was stealing right there. He just got fooled by a really good pickoff move. As it begins to travel that 60 feet, six inches, and you can dip it out of the zone, either up or down or whatever it is, you're going to have success just like that. Well, a nice pickoff, a nasty changeup. Kate Povich into the bag of tricks here in the second. And the Orioles wait out the fastball, which he doesn't throw in the zone much. As now, Brooks Baldwin bunt pops out down seven nothing. Okay, um, right. You know that every pitch that comes out of your hand doesn't mean the ball game. You're up seven to nothing. Now the approach doesn't change. You're still going to attack the strike zone like he's doing. And that was a beautiful four seam fastball right to the inside part of the plate. The only thing that might change when you get up big, when you get behind the count, maybe you challenge in the middle part of the plate a little bit more than what you typically would do. But that's well done, right? Adley Rutschman had rocked to the inside part. Look where he wants the ball. Shows him the glove exactly where it's delivered by K. Povich. So compared to the major league average, a little bit less break, a little bit more drop. Let him know I'm available and willing to relocate and I have a job by the end of the week. But it, was, how it worked out. Yeah, but it was nothing like that. Uh, but after like a year and a half of trying to get in, uh, the owner of the St. Louis Cardinals decided to give it a try, and um, it's been a wonderful ride since. Keep Povich with a strikeout of Luis Robert. 100%. We, we've seen from him that he can throw that curveball effectively for strikes. He he's shown an ability to put it in the zone. I love seeing that change up there too. I believe that is his eighth with on the night and it just building more and more like we said 15 against the Red Sox a couple of weeks ago there's so much promise here for them yeah just I mean these individual pitches has so much promise love you, seeing that way. you can't throw a change up better than that I mean this ball just flirts with the outside part of the zone the whole way and just drifts it right off the outside corner what's different about Kate Povich than it is other pitches because it's it's really a below average fastball when you talk about velocity yep Another strikeout on a changeup. He had five strikeouts on changeup all season. He has three tonight as Robert goes fishing. He's almost kind of greater than the sum of his parts, right? I mean, he's got all these individual things that he's kind of building and packaging together. I still think he's trying to figure it out, which makes sense, right? He does, he does away with that cutter, which I think was a positive step forward with him. Look, Ty, first ejection for the interim manager, Sizemore. And... He's not going to like Goodness. that one. I hope he's not watching yet. Now Ben Attendee's got viewers. He's been thrown out. I mean, Hunter Weddle's did a pretty quick fuse there. Yeah. Maybe too quick. And Doug Sis on the bench coach, who may be the acting manager now, it takes a couple of steps out. As Ben Attendee will depart the premises. Yeah, and why throw a strike if you don't have to? I mean, I get it. You know, but for the hitter, that's frustrating. the slow heartbeat in big moments. It can't value the want to. Mm -hmm. It can't value some of those things. On one, two, Povich gets Sosa to chase a changeup. Seven innings, nine strikeouts. A career night for the kid from Nebraska. One and two for Baldwin. Yes, and Povich gets him looking. 
A new professional career high, seven and one third innings. And how about a tenth strikeout to go with it? This is almost not fair. Breaking ball on the outside part of the plate, and he just takes a four seamer and just shoves it right in there. Perfectly placed. Rushman sets up there exactly where it's delivered. You talk about lock up a hitter. That's going to be the final pitch thrown by Kate Povich. When he completed seven innings, he ran right down the dugout steps past Brandon Hyde as if to say, there's no way you're taking me out. I need more. He got one more out. He got one more strikeout. Whether this was his alter ego slim or not, the real Kate Povich stood up tonight. Start number 12, it was for Kay Povich, folks. I tell you what, he absolutely dominated. Picked a guy off there early in the ball game, had the curveball going, elite command with the fastball. He even threw some really good changeups on the outside part of the plate. I mean, this is as good as you're going to see. And this is a kid coming off back to back rough outings for him. But I tell you what, he really put on a show tonight. A career high seven and a third, a career high 10 punch outs for Kay Povich.